Hi, Bob. I'm glad you could come. Good to see you, Jane. It's been a while. Yes, it has. How have you been? Fine, thanks. And you? Pretty good. Oh, Bob, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Rita Brown. Nice to meet you, Rita. Nice to meet you, too. Bob is an artist. Oh, really? Yes, I'm a painter. How interesting. What do you do? I work at an insurance company. Hey, Ken. Bob, long time no see. Really? I haven't seen you for ages. How have you been? Pretty well. What's new with you? Not much. Same old thing, eh? Well, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you again, too. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I have to go now. Oh, really? So soon? Yeah, I have to get up early tomorrow. That's too bad. But I had a wonderful time. I'm glad. Let's get together again soon, okay? Sure. Bye, Cindy. Goodbye. It was very nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you, too. I hope to see you again sometime. Me, too. Well, bye, everyone. Thanks again, Alan. Thanks for coming, Cindy. Take care. I think I should be going. Yeah, me too. I have to get up early tomorrow. But hey, it's been fun. Yeah, it was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, too. Let's get together again soon. Sounds good to me. Just give me a call whenever you have some free time. Of course I will. Take care. You too. Bye. Hello. Hi. Is Tony there? I think you had the wrong number. Oh, really? Isn't this 1170055? No, it isn't. Oh, sorry to bother you. That's okay. Hello? Hello, Sarah? Yes? This is Robert. Oh, hi, Robert. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Good. Is Tony there? Yes, just a minute. Hello? Hi, Tony. It's Robert. How are you doing? Not too bad. And you? Hello, is Rick in? I think you have the wrong number. There's no Rick living here. Oh, sorry to bother you. Hello, is Hiroshi there? Who's calling, please? Jim. Jim Joan. Oh, hi, Jim. No, Hiroshi's out right now. Oh. Can I take a message? Would you have him call me when he gets back? Okay. Hi, Linda. Hi, how are you? Great. Listen, are you free on Saturday night? Saturday night? Uh, let me check my schedule. I was wondering if... Oh, sorry, I'm busy on Saturday night. Oh, no. Is it very important? Well, sort of. It's a class party. Couldn't you skip it? I'm afraid not. Ah, uh, too bad. Maybe some other time, okay? Okay. It's just that I have two tickets to the Sting concert and... The Sting concert? Hey, I made a mistake. That party is next Saturday. I'd love to go. A few of us are meeting for dinner on Friday. Would you like to come? Thanks, but I don't think I can. I have to work until 9 on Friday. We're getting together around 8.30. Why don't you meet us at the restaurant after work? Well, I'm not sure. You should really try to come. It'll be fun. I'd like to, but... Jennifer is coming, you know. Jennifer? All right, I'll be there. I'm sorry I'm late. You should be sorry. Oh, come on, I'm not that late. But this is the third time in a row. But I have a very good reason. Okay, what is it this time? The train was delayed because of an accident. Oh, that's the oldest one in the book. It's true. Prove it. All right. Let's go to the station master's office. Okay, okay. I believe you. You shouldn't doubt me so much. Right. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. I'm used to it. What happened this time? The meeting didn't end on schedule. You should have known that would happen. Then the train was delayed because of an accident. Really? Then I couldn't find this place. But we've met here before. Oh, no. You spilled wine on my dress. I'm terribly sorry. Forgive me. 
But this dress is silk. It's ruined. I really do apologize. How could you be so careless? Look, I'm sorry. I'll buy you a new dress. But there's not another one like this. What can I say? There's nothing to say. It was stupid of you. You know you're acting like a child. I am not. I really love this dress. Well, where did you get it? Uh, actually, at a second-hand store. Hmm. How much did it cost? Well, about twelve dollars. Oh, then I really am sorry. Why? You'll never find such a great buy again. How could you be so careless? Hey, I didn't mean to break it. Well, it was stupid of you to put it on the edge of the shelf like that. I said I was sorry. There's no reason to act like a like a child. I'm not acting like a child. Well, you're the only person I know who would get so upset over a Mickey Mouse statue. Well, excuse me. You know that statue was given to me by Walt Disney himself. Oh, hey, I'm really sorry. Guess what? What? I'm getting transferred to New York. New York? That's fantastic. I just found out this morning. Wow. You must be pretty excited. I can hardly believe it. I'm really happy for you. Thanks. But I'll miss you. Well, maybe you could come visit me sometime. How about August? Guess what? I met a really nice girl last month. Yes, I heard. Good for you. Actually, I met a really handsome, intelligent guy a couple months ago. Really? I'm glad to hear that. Uh, did you know that my girlfriend is a lawyer? No. How interesting! My boyfriend is a bank president. Hmm. Tracy and I are engaged, you know. Wonderful. Joe and I are getting married in two weeks. Well, congratulations! You must be really happy. I am. I've finally topped you. Have you met Joe's girlfriend? Yeah, she's beautiful, isn't she? I guess so. You guess so. She has perfect features and a perfect figure, and a perfectly empty head. Oh, you think she's stupid? She's one of the dumbest people I've ever met. Really? I didn't notice. She can't put a sentence together. I thought she was just shy. And she's incredibly ignorant. I thought she was just modest. And she's going out with Joe. Yeah, I see what you mean. Hey, that's my family is on now. Want to watch it? Oh, I don't like that show. The guy who plays the son is so conceited. I don't think so. I think he's funny. Well, I mean, the character has a good sense of humor, but the actor is a jerk. How do you know? I saw him on a talk show the other night. He only talked about himself. Oh, really? Actually, the girl who plays the sister really bugs me. She acts so stupid. I don't think so. Anyway, I think she's really good looking. Excuse me. Yes. What can I do for you? I'd like some medicine. Hmm. What kind of medicine? Well, I'm not sure. My throat hurts. Sore throat. Well, you might try. And I feel nauseous. Nausea. Let's see. And I'm dizzy. Oh. I think I have a fever. I see. Any other symptoms? Yes, I have a ringing in my ears. Really? And blurry vision and abdominal pains. Hmm. Which side? The left. Maybe it's my appendix.、Mm, that's on the right. Do you think mine could be on the wrong side? Not likely. Here, sir, I've got just the thing for you. A mystery novel. Good for the imagination, which is where your illness is. What's the matter? I have a cold. I heard on the news that this year's cold is real bad. I have all the symptoms: diarrhea. I feel dizzy and nauseous. You sound a bit stuffed up. Yeah, I have a runny, stuffy nose and a headache. Oh no, that's terrible. And I, I've been <coughs> sneezing. I'd like a ticket for the eight thirty show. All right, that will be six dollars. Is this a good seat? I'd like to be in the middle. It's open seating, sir. I see. Well, what time do the doors open? 
Doors open at eight o'clock. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, I don't think so. Are there any tickets left for the show on Friday night? Yes. How much is the most expensive ticket? Eighty dollars plus tax. Oh well, how much is the least expensive ticket? Thirty-five dollars plus tax. Okay, I'll take two of those. Fine. Are they good seats? They're inexpensive seats, sir. How many? Just two of us. Smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking. Right this way. Could we get a table by the window? Certainly. Here you are. I'll be back in a moment to take your order. Have you decided what you want? Not really. What is the special of the day? Steak tartare. What is that? Raw ground beef, specially prepared with an egg and steak sauce. That sounds good. I'll have that. I'll have the pork chops. Okay. How many? Just me. Would you like smoking or non-smoking? Smoking, please. Okay, right this way. Thank you. Are you ready to order? Not really. What do you recommend? The lobster is good today. Okay, I'll have that. Does it come with a salad? Yes. Would you like to get together for dinner tonight? Oh, I can't tonight. I'm busy. Well, are you free any time this week? How about Wednesday night? Okay, fine. About seven o'clock. Sounds good. Where shall we meet? What about the Mexican restaurant on Fifth Street? I'm not sure where that is. Oh, well, I could meet you at your office, and we could go from there. That would be great. See you Wednesday at seven, then. Bye. Where shall we meet? How about in the lobby of the mall? Okay, about ten thirty. That's too early for me. Oh, well, how about eleven thirty? That sounds good. If something comes up, give me a call. All right. What's the matter? We had an art show, and I dropped one of the artist's pieces. Oh, that's too bad. It's also expensive, two thousand dollars. Don't be upset. I'm sure the insurance will pay for it. The company didn't take out insurance this time. You're kidding. No, but my boss says he'll pay for it. See, everything will be all right. But he'll probably never let me work at an art show again. Oh, don't think so negatively. What's wrong? I really screwed up at the office. Oh, and I got fired. That's too bad. But it's not the end of the world. No, actually, Barbara and I broke up. You're kidding! And it is the end of the world. Oh, don't think so negatively. Can you tell me the fastest way to get to your office from downtown? Let's see. Follow Highway 405 and exit before it turns into the 101. Okay. You'll turn left at the end of the off ramp. Okay. Then go three blocks and make a right. Uh huh. Then you'll go underneath a highway overpass and make a left. What? A highway? What? Overpass. It's like a bridge. Okay. And then make a left. Right. Our building will be on the left-hand side. Okay. Could you tell me how to get to Tower Hill from here? Well, take the Circle or District line all the way to Tower Hill. Thank you. Excuse me. Can you tell me the easiest way to get to Covent Garden from here? Let's see. Take the Circle or District line one stop to South Kensington, and then change to the Piccadilly line and go six stops. Got it. Thanks. Can you tell me the fastest way to Oxford Circus, please? Hmm. Take the Circle or District line one stop to Victoria, and transfer to the Victoria line to go to Oxford Circus. I see. Thank you. Can I give you a hand with your bags? Why, thank you. That's very kind of you. Where are you going? To the Marriott on Third Street. All the way over there? Yeah. Well, listen. Since I'm going that way, I'll carry these for you. You don't have to do that. It's no problem. Thanks. I really appreciate it. 
May I help you? I'm trying to find the Nestle Cove Inn. Oh, it's right down the street. Can I give you a hand with your bags? Oh, no, you don't have to. I can handle them myself. No problem. I'm going that way anyway. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. That was a great movie. Frankly, I didn't think it was that good. Oh, come on. It was funny, especially the ending. I thought the ending was dumb. You're kidding. Oh, I guess it just wasn't what I expected. What did you expect? Action, suspense, drama. But this was supposed to be a comedy. Oh. Now I see why you thought it was dumb. You were watching it from the wrong point of view. What did you think of the play? It was better than I expected. Really? I didn't think it was that good. Oh, I thought it was funny. And the staging was fantastic. That's true. But the acting left a lot to be desired. I have to disagree. Feel free to. But that's how I feel. I guess we just have different tastes. My, it certainly is taking them quite a while. Sure is. Excuse me, what's taking so long? Sorry, sir. I'll have your dinners in a minute. Here you go. Now, who had the chicken barbecue? I did. And the broiled lobster? I ordered a T-bone steak. Oh, sorry. Just a minute, sir. I don't have any silverware. Me neither. Excuse me, could you bring us some silverware as well? Yes, sir. Here you are. How is it? Tastes like the bottom of a shoe. How's your chicken barbecue? I've had better. Why don't we get out of here? Excuse me, can I have the check? Here you are. What? Fifty-five dollars? I think there's some mistake. Really? Well, let me double-check it. I'll be right back. A. Hello, can I help you? Yes. I bought this shirt here yesterday, and I'd like to exchange it. Oh, what's the matter with it? Well, when I got it home, I found there was a rip in the sleeve. Really? Let me see. Yes, you're right. I'm very sorry, ma'am. B. Here you go. Your jumbo burger and a large orange juice. Oh, I believe I ordered a small orange juice, not a large one. You did? Okay, I'll change it. And I ordered french fries as well. Oh, I'm sorry. What can I get you today? I'll have a corned beef sandwich. Okay, and would you like a salad? Well, let's see. What is that stuff on the bottom row, third bowl from the left? That's potato and cheese salad. I'll try that. Will that be all? Yes, that's all. For here or to go? Here. Okay, coming right up. Would you like to see some engagement rings, sir? Yes. May I see the one in the back row, second from the left? Of course. This is a beautiful setting, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. But can you show me that one in the middle row, third from the right? Certainly. This diamond is one carat. Very high quality. Hmm. It's expensive, though. How about that one there? No, the one next to it. Right. Here you are. It's simple but elegant. Does your fiancé like simple things? Oh, I don't have a fiancé. I just like to plan ahead. Excuse me, do you work here? Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a skirt. Any particular style? Well, I like the one in the window. Oh, the black one? Yes, but do you have it in another color? Let's see. No, it only comes in black. Oh, that's too bad. This one is similar, and it comes in blue and gray. Oh, it's too expensive. What about this one? I don't really like the style. I see. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? Do you have this in a smaller size? What size do you take? I'm not sure. Could you measure me for my size? Sure. Let's see. Size 8. Well, here's a size 8. 
Oh, do you have the same one in blue? Yes, we do. That's great. How much is it? Two hundred dollars plus tax. Excuse me, can I try on this dress? Of course. Here's the dressing room. Thank you. That's very becoming. I really like it, but the sleeves are too long. Well, we could shorten them for you. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Will this be cash or a charge? Do you take visa? Of course. Would you sign here? Sure. Can I help you? May I try this on? Sure. The fitting room is right over there. What do you think? It looks very nice. Well, thanks. I'll take it. All right. Do you accept traveler's checks? Certainly. Sales department, Miss Yoshida speaking. I'd like to talk to Mr. Jones, please. May I ask who's calling? This is Mr. Smith from the Georgia Corporation. Just a moment, please. Thank you. I'm sorry, but Mr. Jones has gone out to lunch. Oh no, really? He should be back at about one thirty. May I take a message? I guess it's not necessary. Are you sure? Yes, I was calling to tell him I wanted to cancel our lunch appointment. Johnson Trading Company, may I help you? Is Mr. Turner there, please? May I ask who's calling? This is Ms. Friedman from Dragon Machine Incorporated. Just a moment, please. Thank you. Hello, I'm sorry, but Mr. Turner is on another line right now. Can he call you back? No, he doesn't have to. I'll call back later. Al, could I ask a big favor of you? What is it? Do you think you could possibly mail these letters for me? No problem. I was going out anyway. Thanks a lot. Could I ask you to do something else? What's that? Would you buy some stamps for me? Oh, okay. What do you need? I need a hundred twenty-five cent stamps. All right. Got it. Uh, Steve. Hmm. Want to give me the money? Actually, I was wondering if you could lend you the money. It depends. On what? Whether you'll make dinner while I'm out. It's a deal. Hey, Mark. Will you do me a favor? It depends. Would you mind going to the supermarket and picking up something for dinner? Well, I'm kind of busy. Well, so am I. I have to finish this report tonight. Please, just go for me. Okay, okay. Now, may I ask a favor of you? Will you type up my resume for me tomorrow? Forget it. Hi, nice sweater. Thanks, but you've seen it about ten times. Oh, really? I guess I didn't notice it. Speaking of which, you didn't notice my haircut. You got your haircut? Oh, yeah. Don't you like it? Sure, I think. What do you mean? Well, it makes your face look kind of fat. Fat? My face isn't the least bit fat. I know it isn't, but that haircut makes it look round. You mean I look bad? No, I didn't say that. I spent three hours at the beauty salon. I'm starting to like it. I paid fifty dollars. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, do you really think so? Hi, Jesse. Wow, you look nice today. Thanks. I'm going to a party tonight. I really like that suit. You do? Yes. Although, I don't think purple is really your color. You mean this tie? Well, I've always liked purple. Oh, I mean the tie really suits you, but that shirt and that tie just don't go together. What's the matter with them? I like purple and yellow. Do you have any ideas for Jack's retirement party? I haven't really had time to think about it. But... Sorry to interrupt, but I was just thinking, we could use the grand hall over at the plaza. Oh, that's an idea. Yeah, but maybe that's going a little too far. What do you mean? Well, Jack's a great guy and all, but the plaza. That place is expensive. You've got a point there. We'd better try and think of something that suits our budget. Well, that about cancels out every place in town. Except here. Here, in the office. Yeah. Hey, I never thought of that. 
That's a good idea. I guess it's not such a bad idea. Okay, so we'll have the retirement party for Jack in the office. A. Alex, you have been rambling for the past 15 minutes. What are you trying to say? The point I'm trying to make is that if we don't get this project off the ground, this company could fold. I think you're probably right about that. B. It's about time we talked about getting married. Hmm. We'd better think about it for a while. What do you mean? Well, what I mean is, I really like you, but I just don't think it's going to work out between us. Hi, Teresa. Hi. What's up? Well, we just got new dining room furniture. Really? What kind did you get? It's kind of hard to describe. Is it made of wood? Yes. The table is sort of oval, but it's got three corners. You mean it's triangle? Not really. I mean the corners are more like curves. So it's kind of kidney-shaped. I guess you could say that. How interesting. What about the chairs? Well, the backs are kind of square, and the seats are sort of round, but not really. I guess I'll just have to see it for myself. Hey, look at all these Christmas presents. The boxes are all different shapes and sizes. Yes, I made them myself. The bell-shaped one is for my mom. Hmm, let me guess. It's a hat. That's right. And the one in the triangular box is for my sister Yoshiko. What could that be? Hey, I know. A metronome. Uh-oh. I hope Yoshko doesn't guess. Well, I bet you can't guess what's in the star-shaped box. It's for my dad. That's easy. A tie. Right again. Mom, have you seen my jacket? I thought I left it on the chair in the living room. You did. I hung it up. It's in the closet. Aha! Uh -huh. And you wouldn't happen to know where my hat is. Should be on the top shelf in the closet. Got it. And my shoes? Aren't they below the jackets? Yes, yes, yes. Here they are. Where are you going? I thought I'd go to Harry's for a while. Well, be back by dinner time, okay? Okay. A. Can I get you something to drink, Mark? Oh, I can get it. You sure? The Coke is over there on the counter. The glasses are in the cabinet above your head. And the ice is under the ice cream in the freezer. Okay. B. Then let's meet at the Buena Vista. Where is it? It's on Hyde Street in Fisherman's Wharf. Oh, I see. Excuse me, but could you tell me how to get to the Oriental Bazaar? The Oriental Bazaar? It's a big store where they sell Japanese ceramics and... Oh, right. That's on this boulevard, Amote Sando. Is it far from here? No. Go over the pedestrian overpass to the other side of the boulevard. Okay. Then go straight down that way for a few minutes. You'll cross a boulevard called Meiji Dori. Meiji Dori. Then you'll pass a couple of large cafes and a building called Vivre 21. That's V-I-V-R-E? Right. Just pass Vivre and you'll see the Oriental Bazaar on your right. I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to Matsuya Department Store? Go straight down this street four blocks until you get to Harumi Dori. Then turn right. Uh-huh. Follow Harumi Dori for four blocks, and you'll get to a large intersection. Cross the street, turn left, and cross the street again. Go down two blocks, and Matsuya Department Store will be on your right. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>